All right, hey guys. So I have a really fun Halloween story. So we've been talking about being scared this week, right? So being scared is kind of part of Halloween. Sometimes it can be kind of fun, but I have a story about somebody who wasn't afraid of anything. <gasps> wow, she must be really brave, right? So the title or the name of this story is The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. And the words were written by Linda Williams and the pictures were drawn by Megan Lloyd. Okay, so let's read about this woman who was not afraid of anything. Because what do you see right here? Hmm, what do you think might happen? Ooh. Once upon a time, there was a little lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly, she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes. And the shoes went plop, plop. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path, but behind her she could hear two shoes going. A little further on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants. And the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And she walked on. But behind her, she could hear two shoes going clomp, clomp. One pair of pants going wiggle, wiggle. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt. And the shirt went shake, shake. <gasps> Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes going clomp, clomp. One pair of pants going wiggle, wiggle and one shirt going shake, shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. And the gloves went clap, clap. And the hat went nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you one black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, but just a little bit faster. But behind her, she could hear two shoes going clomp, clomp. One pair of pants going wiggle, wiggle. One shirt going shake, shake. Two gloves going clap, clap. One hat going nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head and the head went boom boom <gasps> this time the little old lady did not stop to talk she did not stop at all she ran behind her she could hear two shoes going clump clump one pair of pants going wiggle wiggle one shirt going shake shake two gloves going clap clap, one hat going nod, nod, and one scary pumpkin head going boom, boom. I think she might be scared now, right? The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and did not stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in a chair by the fire and rocked and rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock, knock. 
on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything. So she went to the door and opened it. What do you think she saw? What do you think? Two shoes going clunk, clunk. One pair of pants going wiggle, wiggle. One shirt going shake, shake. Two gloves going clap, clap. One hat going nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head going boom, boom. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. Um, you can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. I have an idea, said the little old lady. And she whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin's head nodded and its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said good night, closed the door, and whistled on her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early, and she went to her window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes going clomp, clomp. One pair of pants going wiggle, wiggle. One shirt going shake, shake. Two gloves going clap, clap. One hat going nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head going boom, boom. And scaring all the crows away. Look, it's a scarecrow now. Wasn't that the perfect solution? <laughs> I love that story. All right, guys, have fun doing all of the activities. Bye.